What's up? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Been a while since I posted the video. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of, you know, self-reflecting and, you know, living at the same time and dealing with my own shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm back, though. I'm back. I'm back. You know? I can't believe in no blood out there. You know what I'm saying? Having no blood on me. You know what I'm saying? What Dolo would say. No blood on me, so I got to keep it going, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, you got to get your shit right, you know? You can't, you know, I've been learning how to... You know, not get lost into um, certain, you know, influences and things like that, you know. So the YouTube is another thing. I'm not getting lost in this, you know what I'm saying? So I know it's been a minute, but I'm back, though, all right? Um, so I'm going to drop another one on y'all today. Um, first off, let's do this, okay? Let me burn some of the sage tonight. I got my setup tonight. Um, I got my setup going on tonight, my altar. I had made an altar tonight. You know, that's the best way to, um, that's the best way to manifest the energy is creating your own altar. You know what I'm saying? New, fresh, um, ideas and fresh makeups and your own, you know what I'm saying? Um, idea, your own creation of your own altar. That's how it works best. You know what I'm saying? This is all about manifestations and, you know, you a spirit just like all the other spirits that done it before you. So who's to say that their manifestations and their you know, alters and their ideas are powerful than yours. They're not. They're actually ideas, you know what I'm saying, is it comes from them, but your ideas is just as powerful, if not even more powerful, because it's coming from you. So this is all about creation. You creating something new and unique, you know what I'm saying, that you bring to the table. So this video is gonna be about balancing yourself, you know what I'm saying? Tips on how to balance yourself, all right? And I know it look like I'm high, but I'm not. I just got out of the shower and shit, my hair's still a little wet. You know what I'm saying? I had to get all of those, even though I really didn't have too much negative thoughts and energies on me, but I had to shower, get all that, you know, dirt and grime off me from this earlier, from earlier, from the work, from the work day, you know? I've been cooking and all that, you know what I'm saying? But let me get this sage burning, you know? I like to, you know, conjure up the spirits, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's get this, let's get the waters chopped up real quick, you know, chopping the waters up when I burn my sage. Let me show y'all my little um, altar and shit that I created right quick. Um, can I turn this bitch around? No, I guess I'm at the door like this. So, as y'all can see, my altar, you know, um, I'm throwing my sage down there right now because I might even hold the sage while I'm talking, but you see my altar? I got my crystals aligned up right now, you know, my, my white candles. The white basically is um, clarifying, you know, it's purification, you know what I'm saying? So, it's giving you a, a clairvoyance, a clear mind, resetting yourself, you know, getting you putting your putting your thoughts on a on a fresh plateau on a fresh level you know what i'm saying got my crystals aside my amethyst you know what i'm saying my tiger's eye i don't know what the hell this shit is i liked it i forgot the name of it but i'll figure it out you know what i'm saying um lapis lazuli you know my quartz crystal all that good stuff you know that crystal right there um is very powerful you know you can actually charge up all your other crystals with just that one crystal right there the best way to charge your crystals is in the moonlight all right the moonlight all right, so, yeah. Okay, enough of that. Another thing, y'all, I'm going to change my name. Elevated Ace, I like that name, but at the same time, when I created that Elevated Ace name and when I created this um, page, right, this YouTube page, I had gotten into some trouble with the law and shit like that, you know, where I felt compelled almost to kind of hurry up and push it out there, you know what I'm saying? So I pushed the name out, you know, um, I pushed the YouTube page out. So my first couple of videos with the name Elevated Ace, you know what I'm saying? That's some shit that I pushed out real quick, you know? Um, so for the most part, I got a new name coming, you know what I'm saying? I thought about it. I came up with it myself. So I got a new name getting ready to hit y'all with, you know, um, I'm probably just going to drop it here. Pretty much my new name is going to be Solar the Gambit, all right? Solar the Gambit, all right? That's going to be my new YouTube name in a minute. So, um, just putting that out there so y'all can get, the, you know, so y'all can get it, basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing I just want to say, shout out to the, uh, shout out. Shout out to everybody out there that's doing YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there that's not as, as afraid to express themselves, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the soul group out there, you know? Shout out to Dolo, Flight Boss. Shout out to the subconscious community. Shout out to the conscious community. Shout out to all y'all motherfuckers out there, you know what I'm saying? All y'all motherfucking religious motherfuckers. Shout out to all y'all too, you know? This video right here is going to be basically balancing the energies, all right? I'm giving y'all tips on how to balance yourself, okay? Um, let's start off by... Um, First, in order to balance yourself first, first and foremost, you got to understand what the hell you're balancing. 
First, what are you balancing? You know what I'm saying? So you have to have a level of enlightenment first to be trying to balance anything. Because you can be trying to balance positive and positive. You could be trying to balance, you know what I'm saying? Um, conscious with conscious. See? So you have to have a level of enlightenment, right? Now, balancing the energy is basically balancing yourself is basically balancing the positive and the negative aspect of yourself, which you are the spirit. You come before the positive and the negative. So you're balancing out what you created already. So you created the negative and the positive through your thoughts, right? Through, through you resonating, right? Um, so you created the negative and positive aspect of yourself, masculine and feminine part. So balancing yourself is balancing out the masculine and feminine. So that's balancing yourself. Now, the masculine is basically what you see. The, mas the masculine energy is reality. That's looked at as positive energy. It's not, no thing is better or worse or nothing like that, good or bad, nothing like that. It's just positive and negative aspects of yourself. So when you're balancing out the energies, you got to learn how to balance out the positive side of yourself and the negative side of yourself. The positive side being the masculine, the negative side of yourself being the feminine, right? Now, the reason why it's called for balance, why you might want to balance some things out, because you can lean, it's both on a scale. So you can lean too much this way, too much that way. You can be too much masculine or too much feminine. Now, let me break down the feminine and masculine energies, all right? The feminine and masculine energies, basically, when you're, when you're tipping the scale off to the positive aspect of it, you're feeding in too much of the reality. You're feeding in too much of this human shit. You're feeding in too much of what you can see, the, the, the expression of it, you know what I'm saying? So that's tipping the scale that way. So that's unbalanced when you're doing too much of that. When you're unbalanced the other way on the negative side of it, you're too much into your spirituality. You're too much into your feminine nature. You're too much into your subconscious, okay? That's feminine. Feminine is subconscious. Negative energy. Masculine is conscious. You know what I'm saying? Um, masculine energy, okay? So that's why a lot of people say sometimes, um, you know, they look at feminine or the, or the woman as being negative and bad as far as dealing with the old ancient days you know what I'm saying? With certain cultures, the Greeks and all of that, they never really wanted to mention the woman, especially in dealing with Christianity and dealing with um, religion. They always left out the woman. You wonder why? Because the, the woman energy, the, the feminine energy is separate from the woman. Don't get it twisted now. The feminine energy is not the woman. The woman was created out of the feminine energy, okay? So they look at the feminine energy as being negative because the feminine energy deals with the subconscious. The subconscious deals with chaos, so the feminine energy is chaotic just due to the fact that it's spiritual, which means that it has no shape or form. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's raw and uncut. It's until you add the masculine part of yourself to where you start to create the non-chaotic side of it, the way you start to, um, you know, balance it out a little bit, the way you start to um, add, you know, rules and um, start to um, think about things. You know what I'm saying? You start to... Um, analyze shit and all that. That's masculine shit. Analyzing and, you know, um, when it comes to practicalizing and thinking and all that shit, that's masculine shit. So that's actually taking the chaos and giving it some kind of form to it, forming it up to where it can be, um, so we can have an, so we can enjoy our experience here in this dimension. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's too much chaos, if it's too much subconscious, if it's too much feminine energy, then this shit right here will be destroyed. Because the feminine energy don't give a fuck about this shit right here. The feminine energy just wants to be feminine energy. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It takes the feminine and masculine to balance it out here in this dimension so we can have an experience, so we can live a life. You know what I'm saying? So that's the balancing. You got to learn how to balance the two. Because a part of you wants to be chaotic. It wants to do what the fuck it want to do. It don't want to have no rules, no boundaries and shit like that. Another part of you want to be positive. Another part of you, you know what I'm saying, want to do shit by the book. It wants to work, you know what I'm saying? It wants to work out. It wants to make your body look good, you know what I'm saying? You want to pay bills, do that. That's the balancing, all right? Now, let me give you tips on how to do that now, how to balance yourself between the two. Um, what, what works for me is that everybody learns in their own different way, you know what I'm saying? People learn their own different kind of way. I learned that from um, Booker T. Coleman, you know, back in the days dealing with the conscious community and shit when I was getting the knowledge on that. Booker T. Coleman, he basically, I learned that from him that, Everybody learns in their own kind of way. So you don't have to learn how the next person learns. You don't have to go to school and do this, that, that, that. That might not be how you learn. You know what I'm saying? Your planet placement might be in a certain kind of place the way you kind of have to 
look at it from a different angle. You know what I'm saying? I'll learn a lot of my information off of YouTube just by listening, just by gaining the information, by getting the information through the ears. You know what I'm saying? Just by listening. I didn't have to read no fucking books and all of that. I started reading books. I bought books and all of that. Most of the books over there, I haven't even read them shits. I got three, four pages, skimmed through them and shit like that, but I haven't read them. But that's, that goes to show you that you don't have to read books in order to gain a level of knowledge because for the simple fact that you are the book, you already have the knowledge encoded within you. You just have to remember. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said, balancing out the energies is what I do to balance out my energies, the positive and the negative, the chaotic and the non-chaotic, the, 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 the chaotic and the practical, all right, is let me show y'all what I did. I went out and got me a book, all right? This book basically is a ritual book. Pretty much everything you do, as far as um, when you're doing things in life the way you are, um, I would say, in a rotation, you know, you steady, re you steady um, repeating things, you know what I'm saying? You're comfortable, so you do things over and over and over. Brushing your teeth, that's a ritual. Anything that you do consistently becomes a ritual, all right? So that gives me the key and the access to be able to understand all right what's going on here so i got a book this is my book of rituals this is called a moral code this is these are my moral responsibility codes book right here so what i did was the things that i do and 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 the shit that i engage in sometimes i do a little bit much my spirit wants to go overboard with it you know what i'm saying so if i have one cigarette two cigarettes if i start drinking it turns to five six cigarettes you want to balance that out, you know what I'm saying? It's not what you do, you got to do things in moderation. So in this book, you know what I'm saying, per se, I have a page in here where I put in here that, all right, I'm only allowed two cigarettes during the weekdays, as far as every day during the week. So Monday through Friday, I'm only allowed two cigarettes each weekday. That's balancing myself out because that's... Now, uh, uh, let me put a disclaimer out there now. Rules are made to be broken, yes, but that's why I reworded it and I call it moral code. Moral code responsibilities, you know what I'm saying? So even if I do break these moral code responsibilities, I'm still not going to get lost into the fact that I'm going to be punished and shit like that because I'm not even going to get lost in that. I'm not even getting lost into the book, but this book is just a guide that I received from my higher self, my higher thoughts, and this was to basically help my life Help me to be able to create and manifest things in my life that's positive things that I want to see in my life. So this book was necessary to be able to balance out the energies. So I only allow myself two cigarettes a day. On the weekend, I allow myself up to five cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Um, during Monday through Friday, I'm allowing myself two small beers. So if Monday I wanted to have two small beers, I would have two small beers. I cannot have no more than that. I have to cut that right off. And if I'm serious about this book, if I'm serious about the stuff that I put in this black book, I even... I wrote this book when I was doing my altar. You know what I'm saying? That altar right here. That's when I wrote this book. So I was channeling energies and I was very serious when I wrote this book. I just started this book yesterday. So I'm only allowed two cigarettes a day. On the weekends, I give myself a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I don't want to put nothing in this book that I know that's way far-fetched that I know I'm probably going to break. I was reasonable about what I put in this book. So this is balancing myself out. This is balancing the positive and the negative. So... Yeah, now, today, I only had two cigarettes. I had one cigarette in the afternoon, and I had one cigarette after dinner. I had opportunities. I even bought a pack of cigarettes. So there's a pack of cigarettes in my drawer upstairs right now. But being that I wrote it down and jotted down in this book that I can only have two cigarettes a day, and I was serious about that, I'll go in there, look in that drawer, won't even touch them fucking cigarettes because that's how serious I am about balancing the energies. The two drinks per day... This is just a, a limit. It's giving myself a limit to where when I reach that limit, I cut myself right the fuck off because I know my spirit will allow me to go over. You know what I'm saying? My spirit will allow... My, 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 my spirit want to do more. My spirit don't give a fuck. It's reckless. It's chaotic. It just wants to go. It's, it has no shape or form. You know what I'm saying? It has, it's not dealing with time. You see what I'm saying? So that's why this book is necessary. This is how I balance myself. You might balance yourself in a different kind of way. But I put my shit in this book. You know what I'm saying? I wrote all kind of shit in this book. I got page after page after page of shit in this book. You know what I'm saying? My moral codes and shit. Shit that I wrote down. You know what I'm saying? Um, about moral. My moral. I put in place a system for myself that if I did decide to get a little chaotic with certain things that might cause me to be unbalanced to where my life is a little more chaotic. This book right here, I just remember what was written, what was written in this book that I wrote in this book. 
And that gives me the power to be able to cut that off. You know what I'm saying? So them two beers, on Saturdays, I give myself two beers and up to five shots of alcohol, of liquor. Um, or three beers and four shots of liquor. You know what I'm saying? That's Saturday. You know what I'm saying? So I know Saturdays, I can have the opportunity. Sometimes I'll be wanting to do way too much. Wake up with a hangover and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But being that I got that... That in this book, once I wrote that down in this book, put my signature on this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Did my ritual on this bitch. Now, when I get to that type of mode, when I think about it, I'm counting. Once I get to that shit, no matter how hard it is going to be, it's going to be hard for you to do that just to cut yourself off like that. But when you get a little black book and you fucking got a ritual going down here and you wrote that motherfucker down on some real serious shit, you're going to take that shit serious. You better take it serious because if you don't, Pluto going to change your ass. Because your spirit's going to change it. It's going to send you a negative situation in your life that's going to shake that shit up and change that shit one way or another. You either want a rough transition, you know what I'm saying? Or you want a nice smooth transition. A positive transition. Right? Which one do you want? I want my shit to be smooth. I done dealt with enough negative shit in my life. I done manifested enough negative shit in my life. Now it's time to, now it's time to start manifesting positive shit in my life. All right? So yeah, that's the um, those are some keys, you know what I'm saying? Some tips on how to balance yourself. Get a fucking book and start writing down what the fuck you know what you do too much and you know what you don't do too much. If you do too much of something, you write in that book, you give yourself an amount. Even me. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to smoking weed, I don't even smoke like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to go there with y'all with that one. Too much information. You know what I'm saying? But get you a book. Write that shit down. Be serious about that shit. And be very specific on what you mean when you write that shit down in this book. This motherfucker right here is in blood, baby. This shit is in blood. This is how I balance myself. It took me a minute, you know what I'm saying? But this is fucking balance, all right? Balancing out the positive and negative energies. The chaotic part of yourself and the positive part of yourself. The good part of yourself and the bad part of yourself. The devil part of yourself and the angel part of yourself, all right? That's how this shit works, man. The positive, negative, the masculine side of yourself and the feminine side of yourself. That's what we trying to balance here, people. We got to do the alchemy. Do the work, all right? This your boy, Solar, the motherfucking Gambit. And I'm is out. Peace.